guys, Carlo here, and today's video is going to be another question and answer video for you guys on a frequently asked question, which is, how do I find a good boxing coach or a uh, good boxing trainer? Now, that's a pretty complex question to answer, but I'll give it to you uh, in the best way I can. And in short, a good boxing coach will be a great teacher. And by that, I mean not just from the physical aspect of boxing, but from the mental aspect. Now. Really, nowadays, anybody can learn the physical part of boxing. And by that, I mean, you know, how to throw the jab, the straight right, the left hook, the uppercut, just the basic fundamentals of boxing. And even then, some coaches can't even do that very well. And by that, I mean is letting their letting their um, their fighters or letting whoever they're trained get away with bad habits, you know, being lazy with their punches and not being critical on them. And I kind of relate boxing to a young child that's first learning how to walk or even learning how to speak a language they're like sponges they kind of soak all that material up and it kind of carries with them for the rest of their life so even in boxing if you have somebody that's viewed to the sport it's very critical from a coach's standpoint that they're critical on their students and that they're showing them the proper technique and fundamentals and then correcting them over and over on it if they not letting them get away with bad habits so to me, that's first and foremost, is making sure that the fundamentals are, are there. You know, learning how to throw a jab and then having them do that a million times over until they get it right. And it becomes kind of a muscle memory thing that they just do automatically. Now, when it comes to the mental aspect of boxing, that's really where the, the nucleus of what makes a great boxer happens. And great coaches are not necessarily people that might may have been excellent boxers, yet alone maybe never even boxed in their life, but they're able to teach and convey what they're teaching to their students in a way that they understand it and they can apply it in the ring. I mean, look at some of the greatest boxing coaches of all time. Maybe they were not even that great of boxers themselves, or some of them weren't even boxers. You have guys like Cus D'Amato, Eddie Futch, Nacho Berestein, Freddie Roach, Angelo Dundee, you know, guys that if you look at it if, if from a pro boxing or pro boxing career standpoint none of their names as far as a boxer goes are in that list as guys that were you know really high on the elite level but as coaches they're excellent boxing coaches and have a resume to kind of back it up and show uh, their resume and, and show their experience with working with fighters so um, again aside from the fundamentals on the physical part looking for somebody that connect can connect with you that can get you past your mental blocks you know whether you're scared for the first time of sparring maybe you're having an issue mentally where you can't get a certain technique down they can somehow get you to do that by making it easier for you to understand they can simplify it for you and really break it down in a way that you can understand it because not everybody thinks the same way not all of us grasp the concept the same way and a great coach will be able to kind of translate that for you and then get you to apply it where you feel comfortable and even in, if it, in the respect that if you're an amateur fighter and you're getting to your first couple of amateur fights and you're scared or you're getting into sparring and you're scared or you don't know what to do they'll know how to calm you down and focus they'll get you to focus on certain things they'll let you know what you're doing wrong and how to correct it they won't just give you kind of pre-written dialogue they'll actually observe what you're doing and then from there diagnose it and fix it so again if you're looking for a great boxing coach those are the qualities i would definitely look for now i know a lot of us may live in areas where you don't have access to a great coach uh, yet alone a boxing gym so i mean i can understand that it will be really hard and challenging in that respect but i at least challenge you to at least get the fundamentals of boxing down correctly and then from there as you grow in your career whether it may be just from fitness or even from a competitive standpoint and then you can start looking for somebody that could be a mentor and a teacher to you and not just somebody that holds the fit. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, those are my thoughts on looking for a good boxing coach slash teacher. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. You know, comment down below and uh, we can have an ongoing conversation about this. So, I'll see you guys later. Take care.